Is your brush being accused of a crime that it didn't commit? Are your hats being victimized for no reason? Today we're about to tackle and debunk the unfounded myths surrounding that unsolved mystery we call hair loss. Now if you're picturing a shiny bald dome reflecting the sun's rays like a solar panel when you hear hair loss, hold on to your hair follicles because we're about to challenge some widespread misconceptions that are as common as moustaches in November. Firstly, let's nip this one in the bud. Hair loss isn't just an old people thing, it can happen at any age, and it's not just limited to the gents either. Ladies, you're not immune. Hair loss is an equal opportunity annoyer, it doesn't discriminate. Now, you might have heard that wearing hats can cause hair loss. Well, unless your hat is so tight it's cutting off circulation to your scalp, this is a myth. Covering your crown won't rob you of your locks. So go ahead, don that fedora without fear. Here's another doozy. Frequent shampooing leads to hair loss. False. Shampooing simply cleans your hair, it doesn't make it pack its bags and leave. However, be mindful of the products you use. Not all shampoos are created equal and some harsh chemicals can certainly contribute to hair weakening. Finally, the myth that's been giving hairbrushes a bad name. Excessive brushing causes hair loss. While yanking a brush through your hair like you're trying to tame a wild lion isn't the best idea, regular gentle brushing isn't the culprit behind your receding hairline. In fact, it can stimulate blood flow to the scalp and can be beneficial for hair health. So if you've been blaming your hairbrush for your receding hairline, it might be time to let it off the hook. Now that we've got the hair raising myths out of the way, let's dig into the root of the problem, pun absolutely intended. Hair loss can be a tricky beast to tackle because it's often a cocktail of several factors. First up, we have the genetic lottery. Some of us are born into families where baldness is as common as the family knows. It's like inheriting grandpa's vintage car except it's his shiny dome. Then there's stress, a silent hair killer. Think of it as the uninvited guest who crashes the party, drinks all the punch and leaves a mess. Too much of it and your hair might just decide it's time to jump ship. Diet is another key player. If your meals are more fast food than fresh fruit, your hair might start to throw a tantrum. Imagine your hair as a demanding diva who only wants the best nutrients. Lastly, certain illnesses and medications can also play a role. It's like they're pulling the rug out from under your hair follicles, causing them to lose their grip. So, if your genes are the ones throwing a bald party, your lifestyle choices might just be the ones supplying the confetti. Now that we know who's responsible for the party, let's crash it with some hair care 101. Hair loss is a tricky business, but there are ways to keep your luscious locks intact. First off, let's talk about food. Yes, you heard it right. Your hair loves a well-balanced diet as much as your body does. Proteins, vitamins and minerals are the VIP guests at this hair party. So let's dish out some eggs, spinach and fatty fish to the table. Your hair's gonna thank you for it. Now, on to exercise. You might be wondering, what's exercise got to do with my hair? Well, it's all about the blood flow, my friends. Exercise gets your heart pumping and your blood flowing, delivering nutrients to your scalp and helping your hair grow stronger. So, lace up your running shoes and give your hair the workout it deserves. Sleep is another crucial factor. Your hair, like you, needs its beauty sleep. During sleep, your body repairs and regenerates, and that includes your hair follicles. A good night's sleep can do wonders for your hair, so don't skimp on those Zs. And of course, we can't forget about proper hair care routines. Overstyling and excessive heat can lead to hair damage and loss. It's like throwing a wild party every night and expecting your house to stay in perfect shape. Not gonna happen, right? So, be kind to your hair. Avoid tight hairstyles, limit heat styling, and choose gentle, sulfate-free shampoos. Also, don't forget to hydrate your hair with regular conditioning. And here's a bonus tip. Stress management. We all know stress is a party crasher, and it's no different for your hair. So take a deep breath, meditate, do some yoga, or just chill out with your favorite movie. Your hair will appreciate the downtime. Remember, your hair is like a garden. If you water it with care, it'll grow. But if you ignore it, well, you'll just be left with a lot of dirt. All right, enough with the hair puns. Let's wrap this up. We've taken a journey from the roots to the tip, discussing the reasons why hair might decide to take an unexpected vacation and how to convince it to stick around. Remember, our hair is a reflection of our overall health. It's like the canary in the coal mine, giving us early warning signs that something might be amiss. So, if your hair's packing its bags, it might be time to reassess your health and lifestyle choices. Like a garden, your hair needs care and attention. 
It thrives on a balanced diet, regular exercise and good sleep. And let's not forget the importance of a good hair care routine. It's not just about looking good, it's about feeling good too. Hair loss can be a tough pill to swallow, but it's not the end of the world. There are solutions, treatments and preventative measures. But the first step is always awareness and understanding. So next time you find a hair in your soup, don't panic. It's probably just trying to tell you to eat more vegetables.